I'm appealing this decision to remove comments from, from my video. They don't leave you much to go on, really, do they? They're like, what, 20 words? In this video, I talk about why some believe that Jews are part of a global conspiracy. I show Jewish symbols in Freemasonry. I do not condone violence, hate towards the others. Please just store features. Thanks. Uh, violence. Uh, hate towards others. Submit appeal. But, yeah, people have said to me before, like, oh, you're finally talking and naming people. Yeah, the reason why I don't do it, because your video will just get blocked, your channel will get shut down. And those big shills, they're there to wait any, on any opportunity that might get your channel shut down. Sounds paranoid, but uh, view discretion is advised. Viewer discretion is advised. I mean, possibly the, you know, what we've chosen as the thumbnail is a bit, you know, I want it to, to stand out. And uh, it does have six triangles, six sides. You know, 666 is embedded in that logo. But I think I'll just change that. Right now, actually, it's changed that over. Uh, let's, uh, let's do that now. Let's try and do that now. Before we get a bloody strike. Videos. No one's watching it now, anyway, because they can't get onto it, probably. Let's change that over. No 666. Uh, what should we put on there instead? How about this? <laughs> no. That's from their anti Semitic uh, mural. Uh, what should I put on there instead? Just this. There we go. Uh, we changed the. Uh, I didn't, I didn't even say anything hateful. That's the thing. That's that. I mean, all they do by blocking my video or or uh, striking me or, you know, removing features and uh, not allowing people to comment on my video is just fueling more anti-Semitism. Yeah? So, you know, how does that even help them? It just fuels the whole entire thing. Don't say anything about these people. You know, don't you dare say anything about these people or you'll just get shut up. No surprise, really, when they basically own most of these companies and these platforms that we post on anyway. Or they started them or founded them or they're the CEO. You know, just go and look at uh, 50 most influential Jews. Here we are. I'll leave this in the description, right? You go and have a look at it. You go and see how many of them are on there. Remember, this is just one website, but there are a lot more that I haven't named here. But this is the last time I'm going to be looking at this. You know, Mark Zuckerberg and all the rest of them. Israel News. Let's go on this. While we're here, let's look for some numbers. Israel News. Let's click on that. What's the news, Israel? <laughs> Maybe later. I keep asking for more money. The good and bad and the exaggerated. See your numbers, leave it in the comments. Yeah. What we got going on? Israel kicks off Nation, uh, kicks off Nation League. Nope, nothing going on here. Uh, what's this here? Uh, arrow free. Wow, that was interesting. What's it saying about Hollywood? Let's go on that. Five Jewish women who deserve their star turn. 
five Jewish women who deserve their star turn. Hollywood. Holly, as in, make your magic wand out of Holly. Oh, oh, that's the end of that. It's gone white. Got the white screen thing going on. Yeah, go away. Israel's doctor, uh, director, Asmos Gitaya, revealed this week that his next film project features an incredible Jewish woman, Donna Graskia. Gracia. I can't read any of these flipping names. Donna Gracia, Nazi, like Nazi, decided her life uh, detonated. Well, Israel director Amos Gitai revealed this week that his next film project features an incredible Jewish woman, Donna Gracia. Mendez, Nasi, dedicated her life to helping Jews flee the Acquisition, uh, the acquisition in the 16th century. Nasi, like Nazi. Now, five hundred years later, Nasi, Nazi, is getting her due. Due. Why is it written that way? Do sounds like Jew. <laughs> but another word, uh, but what other badass Jewish ladies deserve the Hollywood treatment? Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bander Ginsburg was featured in an acclaimed documentary earlier this year and is the focus of the upcoming drama on the basis of sex. Oh, here we go. Transgender. Prediction right there. It's going to be about blurring the lines between male and female. Oh, I'm homosexual. Everyone feels sorry for me. Oh, I'm a transsexual. Everyone feels sorry for me. Oh, I'm a lesbian. Everyone feels sorry for me. The world's so hard because I'm not straight. Oh, boo-hoo. LGBT. Sorry, that's just a prediction. That I think that's what it's going to be about. No more male and female. It was announced that last month, Gal Gadot is slated to portray Hedy Lamar, the famous actress with Jewish roots, who also was a brilliant scientist who put her brain to work fighting the Nazis. And Natalie Portman is sl slated to star in the film about Jewish sisters, a dueling advice columnists, Pauline Phillips and Epi Zander, uh, aka Dear Abby and Anne Ladders. God, these flipping names. What other incredible Jewish women deserve the Hollywood treatment? Here's a list of five accomplished and impressive women whose lives would make riveting films. Look at this person wasting my data. Just playing in the background, ruining it, and taking up my data. The history of Hannah C. Shiziniz and her incredible bravery is often taught in Jewish schools, taught in Jewish schools. But the general public knows little about the young heroine who gave her life trying to save her fellow Jews. Lovely. Uh, who we got? Anne Pucker. In 2018, woman in high political leadership positions in, is thankfully nothing new. But in 1947, Anne Pucker became the first ever female foreign minister when she was appointed the job in Romania. Pucker was born in 19, uh, 1893 into a poor Orthodox family in Budapest. Bucharest. I've been to Bucharest. Yeah, I went to an orphanage in Bucharest. Maybe I'll do a video about it. Uh, it was a long time ago. In 1934, she was arrested in Romania and imprisoned for seven years until she was sent to the Soviet Union as a prisoner swap deal in 1941. Hmm. 
fascinating. Where's the rest of them? Oh, well, only show one. Oh well, that was fascinating, wasn't it, everybody? Wow, amazing.